Welcome back, everyone, to Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. I know it's been a little while since we've done a video. I am in the midst of the busiest part of my travel season for work, uh, but I've got one more week of travel, and then I'll be home for a couple of months before I head off to France in late January. Uh, of 2022 so uh, you can expect a lot more regular content coming back to the gaming channel and we are going to do another uh, Grand Tactician Civil War series that'll start uh, in about a week and a half uh, after I get back from my trip to Gettysburg next weekend uh, so be thinking about that and I will do a post on Patreon to get all of the unit requests for our patrons it's going to be a Confederate 1864 series so that'll be coming up very very soon should be a really good challenge for us uh, but we are back into this now and uh, our next major mission is another uh, sea mission we haven't done any land missions yet i expect those will be coming very soon uh, so what we're looking at here is called mare magnum and uh, the reward is 117,000 in money as well as 18 uh, reputation points and uh, three more skill points and we can take as many as eight ships into this one. So we need to get ourselves uh, built back up. We need to look at places that we can upgrade or maybe even buy uh, some additional ships. So, for example, we could buy ourselves a, a fifth-rate Hermione-class frigate for 29000 And that might be something that's worth it right now to get those 42 guns. Uh, in fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and make that happen. Uh, it's going to give me some additional firepower. And then we'll kind of go from there. Uh, we've got the Erebus here, uh, which is the one we just bought. And I'm, I'm just looking for range as well as damage. And it looks like the best we can go with that is going to be these six pounders on our upper deck. Uh, let's go ahead and buy those. And then the lower deck, uh, same thing. The best we can do is going to be six pounders. Uh, I like the range and the damage that those guns offer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now we're going to need some officers, so let's get the best we can. Uh, let's look and see if I'm available yet, because I know I am a officer that can be in this game. It shows up as history guy. Um, not there yet, though, so let's go ahead and get this captain here. Uh, we want to go ahead and for sure get something with muskets. And then we'll go the best we can here I think we can actually pretty well max this out okay what else do we got uh, this particular officer we want the highest rating we can get in dexterity it looks like we can do pretty well there uh, here we're gonna go for uh, basically we're just gonna go for the best of everything we can get uh, I'm not gonna go real high here yet just because I want to look and see how we might be able to upgrade some of our other officers and it looks like we've already got the best there. Really good there. Really good there. Actually, we've got a first-class crew already on the uh, the USS United States. It seems like our crews are already about as good as we can possibly get. Dang, this dude here is a rear admiral with 100 in everything. Uh, I think we need to go ahead and pull him out of that role. Uh, because we could use him in some other places for sure. Uh, in fact, let's put him in command of the United States. Excellent. Abimael Skipwith. 100 in everything. That's crazy. Um... Let's also look at upgrades for the U.S., uh, the United States crew. I like morale. I like stamina. We're going to go morale here. We're also going to go ahead and upgrade that crew as best we can and switch them over to... Oh, that's going to cost a lot, but worth it. Totally worth it. Let's also look at the possibilities for upgrades here. I, oh boy, that's going to cause us to have to remove some of the crew, but I like the extra hit points and structure we can get here. Uh, how much are we going to have to re reduce the crew, though, is the question. Boy, quite a bit. So I don't know if that's worth it or not to lose that much in crew. 
because that's a lot of manpower that we could really use there. We can actually get a level 3 upgrade on the Essex. Gunnery, boarding, and morale, or accuracy, reload, speed, and sailing. I like that. Let's do that. And we can actually pretty well max out that crew. You can see how quickly we're running out of funds, though, to where we're not going to really be able to do as much as far as upgrades go the way I'd like. We do have the ability to get an upgrade here. Let's go ahead and do that. I think we need to repair the siren. Give them a level 2 upgrade. I'm going to go reload speed and accuracy with them too. And then we're going to go as high as we can on the crew. Okay, and we've got um, 36 points available to us. And uh, for 10, we can add the Tunis to our fleet. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to get it repaired. Um, and we're going to have to go ahead and add a crew. We're starting to scrape the bottom of the barrel a little bit as far as crew goes. But let's go ahead and get get a crew on board this thing. And as always, we want to go for the, the muskets where we can that have bayonets because they help us with any potential boarding situation. Okay, so I think that's what we're going to be able to go with. We're going to be able to take, looks like, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, a full complement of eight ships into this. I'll save what money and reputation I have left for anything in the future we might do. Uh, and I do have two career points available to me as well. So um, we, we aren't doing a lot as far as research goes at the moment. What else can we add to here? The increase in reputation per battle. I like that. That'll come in handy. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so you were ordered to enter in uh, the Mediterranean Sea and sail to Sicily for resupplying and repairs. Uh, an agreement between the U.S. and Ferdinand IV of the Kingdom of Naples allowed you to use Sicilian ports as naval bases. After resupplying, you started patrolling along the sea trade routes. did not take long to receive a distress call from a convoy of U.S. merchant ships, which was under Corsair attack. So we're going to send everything we've got. That's 312 guns, 2,500 men just about. Uh, we're coming in to help protect this convoy. I want to... Oh, there we go. Admiral, we've arrived just in time. Did I forget to uh, check the crew of the Enterprise? I feel like they should have more men than that, but maybe not. The pirates are after the trade ships. Two armed merchantmen are maneuvering to stall the attackers and screen the weaker ships. We must swiftly sail to help the convoy and engage with the pirates. Okay. Uh, so here we go. So taking a look here, obviously you can see there's very low number of crew members on most of those ships. The Maryland and the Connecticut are going to go uh, start to react to these things. I want to see what the, the mission parameters are because I have a feeling this is not all we're going to face. Uh, I'll just eliminate the enemy fleet, so we really don't know what all that in entails. But given the amount of money involved in winning this one, there's no way that this is all we're going to face today. So um, let's go ahead and start heading in that direction as fast as we can, and then we'll engage. I'm going to go ahead and put some of our smaller ships on AI, at least to start. Uh, and I'm going to kind of manage the bigger ones. No, not the Enterprise. I don't want them following them. I want them to do their own thing. I want the Essex to follow the United States. We'll bring the Erebus in behind them. Actually, we'll put the Erebus behind the Chesapeake. We'll run the Essex behind the United States, and then we'll let the, follow the smaller ships just kind of harass and do whatever they can. Okay, so we're getting a little closer to where the Chesapeake, for example, is going to be able to start firing. I'm kind of hoping the Nautilus and some of these smaller ships will go off that way. I 
If we get moving a little bit more with the wind here, I think we're about to be in range. You can see we're just barely out of range. But it looks like these two ships are actually doing okay right now against these pirates. I know we're going to be facing more. There's no way it's just these four pirate ships that we're going to be facing. Oh, here they come. Alright, here's another big group of ships. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Feeling good about our chances against all of that, though. I just got to keep an eye on what's going on with the AI ships. Because if the AI starts kind of screwing things up, I'll have to be able to get in there and start micromanaging them. Alright, let's see if we can turn and maybe get our guns on that first ship. Oh, they're still just out of range. We want to deal with these ones before we have to face the other ones. How are we doing over here, boys? See, the smaller ships have a lot more maneuverability than the big ones do. Whoa, what happened there? Dang. Commodore ba uh, Basil Cole was killed. Captain Gowan uh, Wilcox is killed. Not a good start at all. That wasn't one. Was that my one of my ships, or was that on one of theirs? I don't know. I'm not familiar enough with my crew to understand who's who yet. All right, now we're going to be in range. Start lighting these guys up. I'm really not too concerned about capturing any of these smaller ships. So I'm thinking we might want to get um, get going with manual fire here. I just got to remember how to do that. Okay, so it looks like here's the button for manual aim. And it's uh, X gives us the aiming mode. Uh, set aiming area is just the left. And it looks like we're, we're dealing with a little bit of uh, movement here. So I want to try and hit them at the water line, see if we can sink them as quick as possible. Might be aiming a little too low right now. Let's see how we do. Got to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to overshoot this ship and hit the Connecticut. Light them up, boys.
All right, the United States, let's try and drop the sails and see if that helps with being able to uh, extend our, our range a little bit here. I'm not concerning myself too much with the wind. I'm just concerning myself with sinking these four ships in time to be able to take on the others. But I do want to keep an eye out for where those other ships are. Where are they? They're way out there still. Looks like Enterprise and Siren are headed toward them. That seems like a really bad idea, boys, when uh, the rest of the fleet's over here. So let's turn around and not do that right now. Unless we're going to take the United States out there to deal with them too, which might not be the worst idea. So let's maybe start thinking about that. And I'm going to bring in Enterprise to link up with these guys. Like I said, though, I'm, I'm a little concerned about firing on these ships and overshooting and hitting Connecticut and Maryland. I'm going to turn Erebus around this way. And do the same with Chesapeake. We'll get Chesapeake in behind the Erebus. There we go. This will be a good shot here. Gonna be going with the wind now. Let me slow down a little bit. I could probably just roll up and capture these ships, but I'm not too concerned about that. I don't want to sacrifice crew to do it. Guys, finish them off. Oh, got another one wounded. That was on board the Connecticut. Sink them. Come on. We're right at close range. The problem is they, they've got such a low water line. It's difficult to hit them when there's barely anything above the water on these ships. Man, Nautilus is having a rough day. Okay, the other ships are coming up on the enemy now pretty soon. We're going to get Siren and Enterprise in behind them. Hit him. All right, I'm going to put that other group on AI for a little bit here. Where are they going? Ah, you know what? Forget that. I can't trust the AI. I don't know why I ever try to trust the AI. Alright, 
We got some flooding happening on two of these ships. One of them's about to go down. There they go. They're done. Honestly, at this point, I think probably Connecticut, Maryland, Nautilus, and Tunis can finish these ships off. I'm going to disengage and go help out with the other group. So here is the other group. We're unfortunately, I think, giving up the wind here, but that's okay. We've got a good start on them. I want to go after the big boys. Those are the ones I want to capture. That uh, Ali Kapadin, the Chedi Gumru, and uh, Nusret Numa. Those are the ones I want to take. Wind changed. Okay. Enterprise is exposing their stern. That's a bit of a concern. Okay, Erebus and Chesapeake are on their way. I think I'm going to go ahead and put Nautilus in behind. Send all my ships this way now. Oh, Enterprise has rudder damage. I'm going to turn this way, get right in between. We can fire on both sides. United States is the one we're going to probably use to do some of the capturing, but we can do it with the Essex as well. Let's slow things down a bit here. How are we doing with getting the other ships over here? They're coming. Raise those sails, get them up higher. Okay, here we go. Let's go after their sails. Nice. Good start. Where's the rest of my ships? Okay, they're right here. Shooting at survivors. All right, let's switch over to solid shot. I'm gonna try and come in behind these guys. Put Erebus in 
Chesapeake on AI for now until they get in to position a little better. All right, we're causing a lot of damage on this one. I don't want to do too much because I want to capture them. Let's go ahead and switch over to canister shot. Focus our fire on this ship for now. Actually, not yet. Let's hit this guy first. And we'll come up on the other side of this one. Try to hit him as best I can. Alright, raise those sails. Let's try and catch up to this thing. Switch back to canister. This one's about to sink. If we come in behind these guys, we might be coming up on our chance to sink this one. Back to canister. Slow down. Augusta has retreated. Those are the, the merchant ships that we are protecting in the first place. We gotta be careful here because Essex just got lit up a little bit. Come on, get up there. Trying to maneuver into position to get my grappling hooks on them. Gotta get a little closer. Oh, siren. Dang, dude. Alright, you know what? You get out of here. You're done for the day. Good night. Come on, get up there. Nice thing is we keep taking out more of his crew. He's not going to have much of a crew left for me to have to fight in a minute. Although we're taking a lot of damage in the meantime. Alright. Let's put him on AI. Oh, he's just giving up when he does that. Ah, 
Okay. We're gonna go after this one then. Hold on a second. What is happening to the United States? They're taking some heavy damage. This is what happens when I start letting the AI do everything. We're just going to have to really micromanage, I think. Let's see if we can grab this one. Oh, the wind changed again. Okay. I think we're about to be able to grab onto this guy. Even though we're going opposite directions. We got him. Okay. Close it in. Get him boarded. Come on. These are the other two we want to board. Man, come on. boarded yet. This is crazy. They're not they're not boarding. No, 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 no. Not that ship. Did he break loose? I think he did. All right, we gotta get Enterprise out of here too. We may lose Enterprise. Okay, we did in fact lose the Enterprise. We just sank another one of his. One I was hoping we would be able to capture. We're about to sink it. All right, Let's see if we can grab this one. We got one to surrender. Problem is, I think it's gonna sink before we can get anybody on there to actually capture it. I'm a little nervous about sending somebody to grab it if it's just gonna sink on them.
but we'll try. Yeah, it sank. Darn it. Okay. Well, at least it sank before our men got there. So let's try and grab this one. Back to canister fire so we can kill some crew. Now we're boarding. So we'll finish that one off. We're probably going to end up sinking this one too, unfortunately. Okay, we got them. We'll put a minimal crew over there. We'll cut them off and go. All right, that one sank. That leaves this guy. getting very far. Don't get any ideas. Gotcha. Oh, should have been on canister fire. Chesapeake's boarding. This shouldn't take long. Didn't lose too many there. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't take them all. Just take a small enough crew to handle them. I think that just leaves this one. Oh, we got one over there. What's going on here? Oh, they, they jumped on one of the other ships that had surrendered previously. Oh, you little stinkers. All right, that's all right. So that does leave one ship that needs to be dealt with. I think the Tunis can handle them. Alright, so the wind is not real favorable for us. I mean, I could probably just zigzag and make my way a little closer to them. But we'll just win the battle of... Uh, of guns right now. I'm going to try to aim up here at his the higher part of his deck if I can. Actually, let's see if we can go for the water line near the stern. seem to be working very well. I'm just going to go back to auto aiming. Drop the sails so we can get some range. Are these other ones? These guys have the wind, man. Why don't they turn around and help out? They're just going to sit there.
The Nautilus doesn't seem to be doing much to help me in AI mode. All right, we're going to go ahead and get up next to this thing. See if we can't try to capture it before it sinks. Once we turn it into the wind, it's going to get a little bit difficult. You can hear the small arms fire. They're starting to fire at us with their muskets. Oh yeah. Take that canister fire and like it. I don't think we're close enough to be able to gra grapple onto him yet. We'll try it. If we get him to surrender, that's just as good as uh, as capturing him directly. So maybe we just park here with our canister fire, kill enough of his men, he'll surrender. Hopefully we can do that before it sinks. Alright, I'm going to try and turn the other way. See if we can get closer. Let's drop the sails. It doesn't seem to be working. There we go. Oh, yeah. Not going to have many men left at this rate, dude. Hoping he'll just surrender from lack of manpower at some point. There it is. Always oh, sank. Darn it. Okay. Well, we only ended up capturing two of them then. We did lose one. We lost the Enterprise. We lost 400 men, but we took out 1,300 of his original 1,500 men. Uh, men crew. The, the number of guns were actually fairly even between the two ships. Which is pretty interesting. So we captured a 44 gun ship and a 68 gun ship. Though they only had 180 men on board which is pretty interesting. But that's a big big deal that we were able to capture the biggest ship as far as guns go. Um, and of course we lost the Enterprise, which is a 20, 28 gun ship, so not a huge, huge deal. We've got some promotions. We did lose four crew members a Commodore, two Commodores, two captains. Oh, two more down here as well. There you go 68 gun ship, 44 gun ship. Captured some weapons as well. We've got two side missions that we're going to send some ships to do real quick before we advance to the next chapter but in order to do that first i want to look and see here's the trophy ship 68 guns boy that's a big deal fourth rate uh, it's going to cost us 40 in reputation to purchase it but that's absolutely something we're going to want to do um so let's go ahead and get some repairs done to a few ships not going to do a lot with them. Oh man, I can't believe I didn't have must, um, the right weapons on board that one. We'll just get enough to where we can go ahead and do these side missions. Which I think that'll probably do it. That gives me 80% chance on that one. 96% if we send the Erebus as well. Send the United States and the Erebus. That gives me a 96% chance on that one. Haunted Island will send the Chesapeake and the Essex, and that's a 100% chance. All right, perfect. So we gained all of that there. Looks like we gained uh, two of the transport ships as well. 
Uh, Swedish Admiralty is very pleased to send you 1,000 fine pieces of Prussian musket model 1750. Uh, thank you very much to the Swedish captives for that. All right, so now we get into a situation where we're going to have uh, a couple of missions, including our very first land mission, which uh, I'm very thankful for. We're finally going to be able to do. Uh, we're going to have two side missions available to us as well with that one. Here's our report on everything. Let's see how these two went. 15,700 money, 10 reputations, and a career point. And then this one, the same. So that leaves us with 142,000 in funds, 63 in reputation. Uh, we do have five career points to spend. Uh, but that'll all be for next time. So let me know your thoughts. Use the comment section below, and we will be back uh, after my next uh, little weekend trip here. I will be back on Tuesday. Uh, and then I leave again on Thursday to go to Gettysburg in Washington, D.C. So uh, not going to be a lot of content on this channel for the next week and a half, but we'll be back to daily gaming videos uh, right around Thanksgiving and then moving on for a couple of months after that. So thanks for sticking with me, and we'll be seeing you again soon.